Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So this is a short audio podcast. Uh, we're today very quickly, uh, in as few minutes as possible, I want to go through 20 time management tips, right? So I'm going to keep this as short as possible, and I'm just going to go through each tip, uh, point by point format. And of course, if you want to read about this in detail, you can purchase my book. Uh, Getting the Baraka, an Islamic Guide to Time Management. It's available on Amazon, iTunes, and many other uh, ebook websites. So the book goes into details. But for this short podcast, we're just going to go to 20 tips. Right? Tip number one, avoid multitasking because it splits your attention between two things and you end up making mistakes in both tasks. It's better to do one thing at a time and to do it properly, you get it done faster, you end up getting a better quality job done than to multitask. Tip number two, have a way of measuring your long-term goals so that you know how close you are to completing the goal and you can plan accordingly, right? So whatever goals you set, make sure there's a way to measure whether you have met your goal or not. Tip number three, when working on a high concentration task, Put your phone on silent or switch it off, right? Close all your social media tabs and concentrate only on the task at hand. Tip number four, study in bursts of 20 minutes and every 20 minutes take a five minute break. The five minute break allows your mind to store the information in your long term memory, which leads to increased understanding, longer retention and less need to revise it later. Tip number five, start your day with praying Salatul Fajr and schedule one high concentration task for immediately after Salatul Fajr. For example, memorizing the Quran or writing a book, uh, something that's going to take a lot of mental energy, do it immediately after Salatul Fajr. That is the time of the day in which it is Barakah. Tip number six, make sure you get enough sleep every day. Um, six to eight hours is the average uh, that helps you to remain productive and alert and energetic. Tip number seven, keep reminders of important tasks wherever you can see them. Okay, uh, have reminders on your phone or on your computer's calendar or in a notebook. Um, wherever you keep it, make sure it's somewhere where you can see it so you don't forget. Tip number eight, learn the shortcut keys on your computer. This will help you to complete your work in record time. So for almost anything that you do on your computer, there is a shortcut key for doing it. From copying to pasting to undoing a mistake, uh, there are shortcuts for everything. Learn these shortcuts, they go a long way in helping you save time. Tip number nine, keep a neat, uncluttered work environment. This will help you stay motivated and help you to work better. Right, so remove all clutter from your work environment and this includes your computer's desktop. So tip number 10, make sure that your computer's desktop is uncluttered. Organize things into files and folders so you know where to find what you're looking for and things aren't just lying all over your desktop in unorganized files. Tip number 11, learn to speed read and to speed listen. This saves you a lot of time when it comes to reading books or listening to lectures. Tip number 12, learn the shortest route to your frequent destinations. This will save you a lot of time on the road. So if there's three or four ways to get to your destination, make sure that you learn the shortest one with the least amount of traffic. You will be amazed how much time you save on a daily basis with this simple tip. Tip number 13, whenever you are waiting in a queue or stuck in traffic, Use that time to listen to a lecture or listen to a podcast or to do some mental work or to make a phone call to do some kind of work so that you are not uh, wasting time and that the time is being used productively. Tip number 14, make sure that you eat healthy food and you get enough exercise so that you remain productive, alert and you uh, are able to remain energetic for longer. Tip number 15, when working, take a five minute break every 55 minutes to refresh your mind. You'll end up storing more energy, getting more done, and you'll find your energy will last you throughout the day. Tip number 16, 
On your day off, don't think about work. Just focus on recharging yourself through halal fun. So keep your mind off work during fun times, whether it's in the evenings after work, or whether it's on your day off, or whether it's on a vacation. And that takes us to tip number 17, which is take a family vacation at least one week every year or longer to completely get away from everything and recharge. Tip number 18, if it takes you less than two minutes to get a task done, do it straight away. Tip number 19, if somebody wants to speak to you, tell them that you have five or 10 minutes to speak and then you need to go and do something. This will keep the conversation to the point and it will stop the conversation from taking up a lot of your time. And finally, tip number 20, if somebody else can do a good job at something, or especially if somebody else can do a better job at something, <clears throat> delegate it to them. And delegation saves you a lot of time. So delegate as much as possible to those who can do a good job at that thing. And these are 20 tips of time management. Of course, I go into all of these tips and a lot more in a lot of details in my book, Getting the Baraka, an Islamic Guide to Time Management, which is available on almost all ebook websites. Check it out, and inshallah, I hope all of this helps you to be more productive. Jazakallah khair, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.